Hi everybody, this is me, your skinny pistachio. I'm super excited that you're watching this video. I have no idea how long it's gonna be. I'm gonna share something a little bit personal and I want to give you as many details as possible on my story. You know, if you want to stick around, stick around. If not, you can go and do something else. So I, um, I realized that uh, I should probably go a little bit personal and share my story with some of you people who follow me this is a big part of me this is my life and no matter how hard it is and how sometimes embarrassing it is I want to put it out there because I believe many people don't want to accept that they may have this problem or they embarrassed to mention I have got to step out and say that yes this is my problem so um, that's why I'm doing this video I'm not sure if some people may judge some people may uh, smile this is your choice uh, I'm ready and I hope this may help somebody out there as well so five years ago or five and a half years ago I was diagnosed with IBS what is IBS? You can probably go and Google it online. And um, this is a problem that I had no idea existed. Basically, your digestion system doesn't work the way it's supposed to work. Saying in simple words, you're, you don't have regular bowel um, movements, which means you don't poop as normal as people poop. So the way it started, I have never been overweight or I have never had bad eating habits. But one day I woke up and it didn't feel right. It didn't feel right in a way that I was bloated, too heavy. I had dinner last night, but then it didn't either digest. Oh, like my stomach is hungry. I'm hungry, but it's just too heavy. So I let it go and then I ate lunch or something and it's still kind of bothering me. So at that point I kind of like stopped for a second and I looked back and I was like, wait a second, when did I poop last time? Something is off, like I, it's not supposed to be that way. So in a few days it didn't get better so I started searching online what it can be and I realized that I just need to go and see somebody because there is no way I'm gonna figure it out and I was not gonna use any medicine or anything. So I googled, there was a doctor close by, so I scheduled an appointment with her and I went to see her. I described what was going on and she, right away, she told me, you probably have some like food intolerance. And I was like, okay, yeah, that can be an issue. So, so then she said, I, you need to take the test to figure out if you have any issues. So um, test was not covered by insurance. I paid out of the pocket. It was like a thousand dollars or something. They kind of laid it out that what you should avoid completely, then something like 50-50 and then everything is fine. So basically what was behind this test is that you should avoid certain foods for at least like a month and then reintroduce. It doesn't mean the test show that you are allergic to um, let's say i don't know mango you can't m eat mango for the rest of your life no you should avoid and then slowly reintroduce it so your body doesn't react the way it used to react uh, long story short uh tests showed that i was super allergic to mango beets a lot of the list was huge dairy obviously gluten all this stuff so i started avoiding food uh to see if i feel better so, and that's when I started losing obviously weight because I started eating super clean and then uh, any doctor would tell you that, you know, when you have IBS, you have to move. So exercise, fitness, started going to the gym, nothing got better than I did a bunch of different other tests, procedures, colonoscopy, everything, nothing worked. So, and then she said, I'm giving up, you have IBS, IBS is a problem that was not really researched yet, nobody knows the solution. So that's a problem without a solution. There is no, there are some medicines out there, which was very, very expensive, but my insurance covered it, which didn't do anything. Uh, I went to see another doctor. Um, that doctor didn't really help me much too. The third doctor that I'm seeing right now, he, again, kind of, 
nobody knows the solution that's the biggest like problem nobody knows what's causing it some people get better when they uh, avoid gluten and dairy some people get better when they start taking probiotics I didn't find anything that makes it better and worse I avoid a lot of stuff and that's the cause of avoiding certain foods to figure out what works what doesn't work I'm not gonna die if I eat dairy but I avoid it this is my choice psychologically I already built in my head that I'm just scared sometimes to eat some stuff so when people ask me to eat I don't know something else like I just don't want to like mess around and second of all I started exercising a lot and when I started exercising obviously losing weight exercising a lot I lost a lot of weight when you started exercising you obviously have certain concerns about foods that you eat I'm not gonna eat a piece of cake because you know an hour and a half I was sweating my ass off at the gym it may it may not work for somebody else I heard so many people say that probiotics help but it didn't do much for me they're expensive the time goes by and I still have pains pretty much every single day and I am a strong believer that stress and just your mental calmness that's what helps because basically like I have IBS which is IBS with constipation and you know and this is gonna be probably for some of you not the most enjoyable topic to discuss but I don't have regular bowel movements which means I don't go to the bathroom as normal people do so I have technically constipation but what is constipation constipation is when your stool is very hard bulky you're not hydrating enough there are many different things that can cause constipation my stool is perfectly fine is that just inside of me my muscles don't contract they just don't move stuff where it's supposed to go in my head the reason why it is happening is because I'm so stressed all the time that it's just these muscles are like this and they don't move so for me I think meditation is a big thing I wish I did it more often that's the only solution pretty much for me right now again this is my issue I'm still struggling with this I'm still trying to find solutions um, fitness clean eating a big part of it and this is my life if you can help me please share your solution or how you deal with this um, but yeah I uh, this is my story and um, that's who I am I have IBS with constipation and I'm bloated pretty much every single day and I have cramps in my um, stomach every other day and this heart my husband supports me a lot my family supports me a lot too um, and yeah if you if you have the same issue this is not the, the easiest topic to accept this is not the easiest topic to discuss um, but I believe that this is especially in the United States this is a big big problem and by maybe creating some communities talking about this um, we will find a solution or will support each other so don't be embarrassed I you know raise your hand admit accept maybe there is a person in the crowd who can help with just by maybe supporting you or accepting or saying giving you advice so don't be embarrassed please let me know, shoot me an email at skinnypistachio at gmail.com or follow me and we'll, um, we'll find a way to uh, deal with this. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there's anything else that you 
would like to know about this problem, um, I'm more than happy to share. Thank you everybody for watching. Bye.